Hey guys, uh, Scott with Football Scoop. Today we've got John Bills on. He's the offensive grad assistant up at Western Kentucky. How are you, bud? Doing well, Scott. How are you? I'm doing great. Hey, uh, I'm fascinated by the story of how you got here, the old thing with the Mets that I, that I read about. Tell me a little bit about yourself, you know, where you played uh, college ball and then how you got here. Um, born and raised in Michigan. I grew up a huge fan of the University of Michigan and I got the opportunity to walk on there. And I played under Rich Rodriguez and... Great. Going into my redshirt junior year, I was in an accident the summer going into that year, and you know, unfortunately, I, that ended my football career. But it opened up an opportunity for me to stay on as a player coach, and I was lucky enough that they let me do that. Hey, what you play up there, bud? I was a uh, fullback and tight end. Okay. I mixed back and forth a little bit, sure. so uh, yeah, I stayed on and helped out with the offensive line, and he was lucky enough to be able to chart fronts and help out with the, the scout team defense and really just caught an itch for coaching a little bit. And, uh, you know, then after that season, that was uh, fall of 2010, mm -hmm. uh, the transition happened with, at Michigan, and I just sort of phased out of uh, the football picture and, and graduated in four and thought law school would be the best move for me and took a year off and took an internship with the Mets, like you said, applied to some law schools, got into some very good law schools, but... When I was working out in New York, I, I kind of realized more and more every day that I woke up and put a shirt and tie on and just saw how what that industry was all about and what you know, it just made me realize that getting into coaching was something that I wanted to do and, and I wanted something more and I wanted to, to go to work every day and know that I'm impacting other people and just a, a you know, very real sense of fulfillment out of that. And I was fortunate enough to play with uh, play with a kid named Nick Sheridan, who uh, was a teammate of mine, close yeah. friend of mine, and he was a grad assistant out here last year, and I stayed in contact with him throughout the year and just told him more and more how, how this is something that I wanted to really do, and he called me up in January and, and told me that he got promoted to full-time quarterbacks coach and that there'd be an offensive GA position available, and asked me if I wanted to come down here, if it would be something I'm interested in. I jumped in my car the next day, drove down here, met with uh, Coach Wells, our offensive line coach, met with Coach Taggart, the head coach here, and for better or for worse, they took Nick's word for it and took his recommendation, and they gave me the job, and I've been you know, lucky to be here since February. That's great. So, so uh, which group are you working with the most? I'm working with the offensive line, and you know, loving that. It, been a little tough for me because it's not learning one position you have to learn all five but it's it's going great i love that group we got a great group of guys a lot of guys returning and we're looking to you know make some noise this year yeah tell me about uh spring football you know how was that your first you know opportunity to coach on the field right uh spring football went very well we got a like i said a great group and just getting out there i, I was only in the uh in the office a month before spring football started so learning the playbook was just, it was an everyday, uh, you know, everyday mission. So I got to help out, you know, as much as I could, pull guys to the side, just give them tips and this and that. But uh, towards the end of it, when Coach Wells started trusting me more and giving me a little more responsibility, you know, we'd split up the group and he'd take tackles for a session, I'd take the centers and guards, or he'd take the centers for a session, I'd take the tackles and just work on just different techniques and stuff. And as I more, get more and more familiar with the offense and – familiar with what we're trying to do and what he, the values and the uh, strategies he wants to instill in the guys, uh, I'll hopefully get more responsibility and get to work work a lot more. All right, so you've been there three months or so. If somebody were to reach out to you now and say, you know, how's it going after three months compared to what you thought it was going to be, you know, what do you, what do you say to that one? Uh, my first, when you think of Western Kentucky, I, I, I'll be honest with you, I didn't I wasn't expecting much, but I got here on campus and just saw the facilities and everything that we're working with. And Western, we're doing we're doing some big big things here. And you know, Coach Taggart always instills in the guys that we're we're big time and, and we want to be big time and we're going to be. We're going to earn our the respect that we get and earn where we're going to be. And I, I'm loving it. You, you'll hear uh, I I hear a lot about the history of, of WKU and we haven't been the most competitive over the past, you know, three, five years, but I'm jumping on right on the bandwagon at the right time and we're going, going to the top. I'm, I'm excited.
Yeah, it was a heck of a year last year. I mean, you know, recollection is you guys went seven and one in conference. Um, you know, tough start, but then seven and one in conference. That's I mean, that's an outstanding year for anybody. Yeah, yep. things are uh, things are definitely heading the right direction with Coach Tiger yeah. up there. Excited. He's a great coach, and we got some great coaches on the staff, and I'm excited to be a part of it and really just soak up as much information as I can and, and better myself and better the team and do what I can to put myself in a position to help help the team win. Hey, let me ask you this. You know, uh, you know, playing in Michigan and now being down here, you know, who are some of those coaches that uh, – yeah, you know, you've had the opportunity to learn from, uh, work with, and you say, wow, these guys are just fantastic coaches. Right. Uh, first and foremost, Rich Rodriguez was, you know, my head coach for my playing career, and he was just very good at what he does, and he's going to have a lot of success out there in Arizona, and I'm excited to follow him. But uh, my position coach and offensive coordinator, Calvin McGee, yeah. was, was a great coach for me as well, and I learned so much from him as a, as a player, and it translated a little bit as a player coach, and I, I'm taking a lot of what he taught me along with me, and uh, then getting here and working with Coach Walt Wells. He's our offensive line coach. He knows he's introducing me to a whole new world as far as the offensive line because I played in the spread offense, and we were all about speed there, so you didn't worry about too much about the nitpicky details, but you get here, and we have – you know, play with four times the size and everything. There's a lot that goes along with that, and he's taking the time to teach me each step of the way. And Coach Taggart really is just a great coach to work for, and, and you can tell that he's a great coach to play for as well because the players really, really rally around him, and I'm excited to be a part of it. Give me a... Uh... <laughs> And give me a little bit of advice for uh, you know, a young man looking to get his first uh, GA opportunity. You know, give me some advice for that guy. Never, never forget, or never take for granted the relationships that you make along the way, because you never know what who you, who's going to be in a position to help you down the road. You know, that's the biggest thing that I've learned throughout college. Really, not even just in the coaching world, that, that's life in general is you never know what relationship will come back to, to help you out down the road. And I, I was fortunate enough that Nick was put in a, in a great spot, and he worked his butt off, and, and one year later he got promoted, and there was a job opened up, and he recommended me, and, and they took his word for it. And I've just been trying to you know, make, make an impression ever since. That's good stuff. <laughs> hey, John, I uh, really enjoyed having you on today, and uh, wish you the best of luck this first year there. <laughs> I appreciate it, Scott. Take care. Thanks.